Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here from Dr. Matt and Dr. Mike's medical YouTube channel. Today, we are taking a look at blood types. So, for hundreds of years, we've been performing blood transfusions, but we had no idea why some people would survive and some people wouldn't, until about 120 years ago, we discovered these little flags called antigens that sit on the surface of our red blood cells, our erythrocytes. And these little flags or antigens give us our blood type, whether our blood type is A, B, AB, or O. Now there's actually many different blood types, but the ABO blood typing is the most immunogenic. That means it can elicit a very strong immune response. And therefore it's the reason why if you get a blood transfusion and it's not compatible with your blood type, it can be a very bad thing. So let's take a look. The different ABO blood types that you can have include A, B, AB, and O. And again, what this is referring to is if I were to take a red blood cell, those that are blood type A, they have a flag on the surface that's waving saying I'm blood type A. This is what we call an antigen. And in actual fact, this antigen is a sugar. And this sugar just says I'm A. All right, that's blood type A. When we look at B, and have a look at the flag that B is waving, the flag that B is waving is gonna be pretty easy. It says, I'm blood type B. And then we look at AB, well, what's this flag gonna be waving? Well, there's gonna be two flags, right? There's gonna be a flag that's waving saying, I'm blood type A, and there's gonna be another flag waving saying, I'm blood type B. Therefore, together, this is the AB blood type. And then finally, when we look at blood type O, there are no flags. So blood type O, no flags. So think about this. I like to think about it in regards to different types of villages. Think back medieval, when you've got a castle and you've got a community in a town and that town has a flag that represents who they are, right? So we've got A has the A flag. Now think about it, all towns or kingdoms have an army. Now the army that town A is going to have, that army isn't going to be trained to attack A, it's going to be trained to attack every other flag that it is not. Now have a look, what other flags are available? Simply just the B flag. So that means the army that the A has is going to be against B. So it's called anti-B, and they're actually antibodies. So they're anti-B antibodies. That makes sense. So this army's trained to attack B. Now what about B? Well, it's waving the B flag. It's not gonna train an army to attack itself. It's gonna train an army to attack A. So it has anti-A antibodies floating through the blood. So that means this person who has blood type A will have anti-B antibodies. This person who is blood type B has anti-A antibodies. Let's think about this. What about this one? Well, they're not gonna train an army to attack A because it's waving that flag. It's not gonna train an army to attack B because it's waving that flag as well. So they don't have antibodies against A or B. There's no army. Now let's take a look at the last one, O. Well, it's gonna train an army to attack A, so it has anti-A antibodies, and it's gonna have anti-B antibodies. So if you're blood type O, you're gonna have antibodies against both A and B. Now this allows us to know who can donate blood to who, right? So think about it. If you are blood type A, you are waving the A flag, but you have anti-B antibodies. Who can you receive blood from? You can only receive blood from those that don't have the B flag. So you can't receive B blood if you're blood type A. You can't receive AB blood. Now you may be thinking, but there's the A flag. Yes, but it's also carrying the B flag, right? So these B antibodies will attack it. What about O? Well, there's no flags. So O can be donated to A. So what type of blood can A receive? A can only receive 
Let's pop it down. Other A blood or O blood? What about B? Well, B is the same in the sense that it has anti-A antibodies. So B cannot receive A blood. B cannot receive AB blood. B can receive B blood, so it can receive itself, that makes sense, and it can receive O blood, because there's no flag on the O. What about AB? Well, there's no antibodies, so AB can receive blood from anyone. So AB can receive A blood, it can receive B blood, it can receive AB blood, it can receive O blood. That is what we call the universal acceptor. Universal acceptor. So if somebody is type AB, it can receive all blood. Now let's take a look at blood type O. Well, can O receive A blood? No, because there's A antibodies. Can't receive B blood. Can't receive AB blood. O can only receive O blood. But let's take a look at this. Let's have a look. All of them can receive O, can receive O, can receive O, can receive O. So O is actually known as the universal what? What do you think it's going to be called? The universal donor blood. If you are blood type O, you are the universal donor. And this is a nice run through of the ABO blood types, but there's another bit of complexity to add to this. You may be thinking, yeah, but you're not just A or B or AB, you are A positive or A negative or AB positive or AB negative. Where's this come from? So this is another flag called the rhesus factor. And this rhesus factor is called that because it was first discovered in rhesus monkeys. The flag that they wave is actually a D flag, a D flag. So let's give this as an example. If somebody is A positive, it means they have the A flag, but also the D flag, which is the rhesus factor flag. So as you can see, there's another level of complexity here. So if somebody's B negative, it means they have the B flag, but no D flag. So they're gonna make more antibodies. If you're B negative and you don't have the D flag, you're gonna create antibodies against D. So people who are B negative are gonna create D antibodies as well. So that means if you have the negative blood type, you cannot receive anything with the D flag. That means you cannot receive positive blood of any kind. So B negative can only receive B negative blood and O negative blood. It cannot receive B positive blood or even O positive blood because they're going to have that flag and it's going to create antibodies against it. So this is a quick run through of the ABO blood types.